Hi guys. I'm gonna do a little bit of filming tonight. Because I don't know if this is gonna go up or not. But today has been not the greatest. Um so it's currently 419 in the morning. We started dealing with things at about 12.45. So, we'll start at the beginning. Yesterday, I was hearing noises, but I wasn't sure what it was. And I wasn't going to, like, worry or panic. Um... But, yeah, so, and I noticed, because I had food on the microwave covered with aluminum foil, and there was some water droplets on it, whenever, like this morning. And I just thought, like, Jeremy washed his hands in the kitchen sink, like he usually does, and just dribbled a little, just dribbled a little on the aluminum foil. Boy, was I fucking wrong? So, today's been a shit storm. So, I opened my kitchen cabinets because I don't know. I heard the heard noises, but I wasn't sure what it was. So I opened my kitchen cabinets. It's currently empty, but you see the giant freaking puddle in there. That was there on top of all of my dishes that were in this this little cabinet right here. This section of the cabinet. See those little dribbles right there? So it was dripping in my cabinet. So it started out with just these two, which is hard how hard that's left. Those two coming from these two spots up there. And it's gone progressively worse today. And this entire piece is probably rotted at this point. But yeah, those two spots gave way to these dribbles, which I have right now going into this cup. Which, I just dumped it not, not too long ago. It's already got a decent amount in it. These are on top of the microwave. I moved the microwave, which I will tell you why in just a bit. Because we got those two spots going into this thing. Because it was going onto the aluminum foil, but I got rid of that. Because this water, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like piss. It smells like piss. God damn it. So, I gave way to oh, fuck it, this spot. Which drips down to right here. So there's stuff in this cabinet. So that didn't start until I got this cabinet cleaned out. And yes, the sinks are gross. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. And then that gave way to right here. Right here was dripping for a while. It off and on will drip. But it's dripping really bad, like one one solid drop a second for a while. That stopped for a while. Just this nice, nice freaking crack. And it was dripping about right here a little bit ago. It stopped, but it's still pretty freaking wet. And then it started right here, about right there, still a bit wet. I cleaned out these cabinets right after, like right before that spot started dripping. I cleaned out these cabinets and because of that crack, China's crack, it's scaring the ever-living shit out of me. This is where my coffee station used to be. 
Ignore how dirty my freaking counters are. And that's cleaned off. I moved the microwave because, yeah. So we call maintenance first thing. Well, actually, I'm going to show you where else it's dripping. So I don't know if you can see, but, okay, right there, I think you can tell. The water is, the what? The floor is completely soaked all the way out to out there. About there. Well, I didn't know where the freak that was coming from. Well, I noticed these two, but I don't think it's actually from that. So, like, I noticed it was coming back here. And we got black fucking mold. Well, that explains why I've been sick so much. My work's mad at me because I'm sick all the time. And I say I never go out. And they probably don't believe me. I was trying to investigate that. I found this the corner. It's getting ready to drip. It's freaking gross. So, also these spots. This has been here since we moved in. I was kind of suspicious of it. So we pushed in. And that is full of water. And this up here. It's full of freaking water. So I'm honestly terrified. And these cabinets are going to fall when we go to sleep. Because the entire thing that's holding them up is full of water. So, we're standing our ground. It's technically August 1st right now. So rent is supposed to be t due today. But we're standing our ground and until they fix this, we're not going to pay our rent. So this is going to be basically a vlog of either we show them fix it or we show us move in with Jeremy's mom. Because that's where we're at right now. Everywhere else in the city that we live in. Everywhere else. It's about mm, almost 500 more a month. $500 more a month almost. To be able to have our cat and two bathrooms because we always have to go to the bathroom at the same time. Which is kind of awkward, but I do. But yeah, so we called we called maintenance this morning. It's a sad it was a Saturday technically. Technically it's a Sunday now. So we called and first off, so it's like a multi-line for all of the places owned by this company. Which is a lot because I think they have like between this city and the next and like another big city. I think they have like a hundred apartment complexes. But anyways, first off, since it's the multi-line for all of them, they didn't think our complex existed. They had to ask the supervisor. And I said the name of our complex. I'm like, mm, I don't think that exists. Then who the heck am I paying rent to? But, um, yeah. So, that happened. And she talked to her supervisor, found out this is actually a complex. Good job. And then told us that they call they got a hold of maintenance and that they would be here within an hour. About fifty five minutes after I got off the phone call, our property manager shows up. Doesn't know anything about maintenance. Just a freaking property manager. Comes in, takes pictures of the dripping. 
takes pictures of the dripping. And says, I'm going to give it toss it down to maintenance. Um, they won't be able to be here till tomorrow because they're at a funeral. They have a hundred complexes between this city and a city that is less than an hour away. You'd think that you'd have more than one maintenance man that could come and fix it. But alas, no. And so they said that they'll be here sometime Sunday afternoon. I freaking doubt that happens. Kind of wondering if these cabinets are going to come down while we try to sleep. It's so probably going to have to stay up all night. But for now, let me show you what all I've got taken care of. So, the dishwasher was empty. That cabinet's empty. That cabinet drawer empty. And I took away my coffee station and the microwave. So we got it all over here. All over here. Kind of sad. The two trash bags are crap that's dirty. So it either came out of the dishwasher and was not clean or is plastics that was in that cabinet with it smelling and looking like pee. I'm not gonna freaking use it unless I wash it. So that's my night guys. Well technically it's morning and I keep hearing it freaking drip and it's driving me insane. But yeah. So tomorrow you'll see. Or maybe you won't. We'll see. We'll see if this vlog continues. Because, yeah, I'm just. Just really upset. This little continuation. To see how far I was when I woke up. See, oh, the floor part was mostly just by the wall, mostly contained. I was sleeping. Now I can. There was a little bit of area I did not get wet while we'll trying to get into the kitchen. See, this is where the water is stopping right now. And that's the little space I have to get into my kitchen. So it's got about a foot to go before it infects these cabinets. <laughs> So I'm thinking I might just have to grab everything out of those too. And I went ahead because it's also spread that way a bit. I moved the trash can into the pantry and a couple of my boxes into the office. I'm probably going to move a couple more boxes into the office. I'm gonna move my toaster and crock pot into the office. I'm probably going to have to at least take the stuff out of these drawers. Yeah. Because I started out my morning coming in here to dump out the containers that were filling overnight. It is currently 1.37. I did not fall asleep till about 5.30. I was pretty broken because I kept waking up with the dripping. So yeah, it's about 1.37. I just looked at the clock on the stove. So I'm tired. But the second I saw it, it was afternoon, I figured I'd better wake up so somebody's awake whenever maintenance gets here. If they get here. Uh, slightly freaking out. <coughs> but yeah, the puddle on the floor is growing. Um, 
I got up that cup was about three quarters full. So it's been dripping really hard from that spot all night. The tray was not as full. And there's no new dripping spots on the along the crack. So that's good. That's good. At least but still it's it's not hiding to my other cabinet. Which I think they would just love to have to pull out the cabinet on the other side of the kitchen because the water got to it. Before they could. Because if that happens, I'm going to be pissed. And they're going to have to replace another cabinet. But, yep, I will update you guys with whatever the fuck happens.